Hey guys, so I wanted to film today and I wanted to kind of challenge myself to use a palette that I don't use very often. So I picked up the GFS Place Festival palette. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, here's the inside. Um, and to make this even more challenging, I decided I'm going to do a palette bingo with this. So as you can see, it could go really well or I could get screwed over and have a really hard time with this. So I'm going to put on my little kitty ears and get my hair out of my face. I got my old phone out and pulled up a random number generator. There's nine shades in the palette, so I've got that in here. The three is just what was already in the number generator when I pulled it up. Um, I think I'm going to go with four shades today instead of three though. So five, eight, one, and six. Okay, so one, five, six, and eight. So one, five, six, and eight. Okay, so that's gonna be interesting. I was kind of hoping it didn't give me the shimmery blue, but I mean, it's a gorgeous color. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna make this happen, but I will make it happen, so. Stay tuned to see me potentially fail at this look. So I went ahead and primed my eyes. Um, I just used the MAC Painterly Paint Pot um, and zoomed you guys in a little and I'm going to get started. So I'm gonna take a Morphe, um, what is this, the M433 brush on this shade. I'm not gonna try and pronounce these names because I will butcher them and I'm just not gonna disrespect them like that. So I'm gonna start with this shade. I'm just gonna kind of fluff that in my crease. Okay, just kind of a nice little wash of color for a transition shade. Now I'm going to take a Morphe M507 brush and this darker red shade up here in the corner. And I'm just going to take that in the crease as well. That shade is not as dark of a red as it looks like in the pan. Um, it's okay. But I'm going to go back into that mustardy shade again and kind of blend out the edges. <laughs> I thought about taking the blue shimmer on my inner corner, but I feel like that's kind of cheating. So I want to make sure that I actually incorporate it in my eye look. So right now I'm just going to, um, I've got some tart shape tape on the back of my hand and I'm just going to do a half cut crease. Okay, on like the outer section of the cut, I'm gonna take this pink shade, and this is a Morphe M421 brush. And I'm gonna kinda angle this color. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shimmery blue on the bottom on a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Number no. 9 brush. Okay, I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but I'm going to go in with all of the previous colors and deepen things up and blend edges out and whatnot. Okay, 
Okay, apparently my camera stopped recording while I was blending and I didn't notice. So I just went in, I just went back and forth with the colors a lot. It was a lot of blending. I was losing hope at one point. I hope it looks okay on camera. Like in person, it looks good. Um, I'm afraid on camera that like the line between like the blue and the pink might look kind of harsh. Um, I promise, I promise it looks good in person. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye, hopefully recording it this time. And um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do my second eye now. I'm just gonna do the same process I did with the first one, cut my crease, go in with the pink and the blue. And then hopefully this time I can show the blending pro process a little bit better since hopefully I'm gonna keep an eye on it and make sure it's recording this time. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna get with the eyes. Like I said, I hope I hope on camera it looks as blended as it does in person because in person, I'm not gonna say it's my best look ever, but it looks pretty good. Um, but I don't have any new face products to show you. Um, I don't have anything new and exciting in, so I'm just gonna do my face off camera in an effort to keep this video from being like 30 minutes long because I know that that blending took forever. Um, so I'm gonna do my face off camera and I will come back. Okay. I am back. I am finished with my look. I'm sorry if the lighting's different. I did half of my face, took a chip and bean dip break, got distracted by the cats, which by the way, if you hear birds and cicadas, it's because the window's open so the cats can go out on their catio because they were driving me crazy. They slept most of the day and then they got a case of the zoomies, so I opened the catio so they can go lay outside in the sun. But yeah, here's my finished look. Um, this look definitely started off as a struggle, but I'm happy with how it came out. Um, my lip is Candy Paint Lippy Sticks by ColourPop. If you see flakies on my lips, ignore that. I sunburned my lips at the lake Sunday. Um, don't do that. Always wear a chapstick with some SPF in it. I had put some on early in the day and I forgot to reapply it. I don't have any other excuse than that. So my lips are peeling because I sunburned them. So, uh. I'm sorry if it looks really nasty, but yeah. So here's the finished look. I'm I'm actually really happy with how it came out. Um, I was getting really frustrated while I was doing this look because I was like, you know, it was just not working for me, but I'm happy with it. Um, and yeah, if you don't have any Juvia's Place palettes, you need to get some. They are seriously one of the best eyeshadow formulas I've ever used. I have this one. One, two, three, four, five. I have seven Juvia's Place palettes total. I definitely have, other than ColourPop, 
I have the most dubious place palettes in my collection and I plan on getting them all. I am I'm working on making it an actual collection even the palettes that I don't necessarily think that would typically be something I get a lot of use out of. They're just so good that I just feel the need to have the whole collection of them so yeah. Um, but that's it for today. I thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this look looks as good on camera as it does in person. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good day and I will see you next time.